Wasn't it just the other day that we launched episode one of The Digital Dish? Well, time does have this habit of growing wings when fun is involved. This is episode 13. Greetings and welcome. My name is Dean McKisting. Now in episode 12, we had amazing, but also very big news for you, namely the collaboration between MultiChoice Namibia and Namibia Media Holdings that culminated in the launching of Network TV. I hope you're still enjoying it on 285 on DSTV. As far as episode 13 is concerned, something more exciting, something even bigger, and to help us share the good news, we'll be joined by one of our usual suspects on the couch of the digital dish, that is Evelyn Boer. She is the head of marketing at MultiChoice Namibia. And we do have a bit of a surprise for you a bit later during the show. What all of this means is don't go anywhere. Welcome back. You tuned into episode 13 of The Digital Dish. As promised, Abilene Boot is joining us once again. Greetings and welcome. Thank you, Denver. It's so nice to be here again. You're spoiling us. You're cheating us by these regular visits. So please don't stop. Okay. Yeah. I won't. <laughs> you have a big and a very exciting announcement to make. And we are honored to be in your midst when this is happening. So take it away. Okay. So my big announcement is that the NBC, the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation, and Multi-Choice Namibia have come together and we have launched what we are now calling the Call for Submissions. Now the Call for Submissions is really a project uh, in which we've come together to fulfill our mandate um, under CRAN uh, as a national broadcaster on the NBC side and as a, a platform a broadcasting platform holder on multi-choice side to fulfill our local content quota. The local content quota is really our obligation as broadcasters to supply the Namibian audiences with content that is created locally by Namibians for Namibians um, and is generated in our industry. And we've struggled for a long time to, to, to get to that and we realized that the sector needs a lot of support. So We've been working on this for a long time and we finally come to the point where we've established a contract in which we will produce 13 Namibian feature films. One three. One three over a period of 12 months. And then the contract will be renewed uh, in the following year. So this is the first year of something that will hopefully be happening year on year. Uh, so that's fabulous. Mm. Um, and uh, it's really great because the call for submission opened on the 25th of February and it's open until the 25th of March, in which we're asking all filmmakers to send their proposals. And they, all they have to do is send the proposal of a 50-minute feature film that is uh, geared towards a family-orientated audience. Um, so we're not looking for anything risque because it is a national broadcaster. Mm -hmm. uh, suitable for family viewing. Suitable for family viewing. Uh, and uh, there is a budget available for each proposal. So all the people who are sending in a proposal must give a budget. The available budget per film is between 350000 to 500000 Wow. So yes, that's a big that's investment. That's significant. Yes, it is yeah. for, for by Namibian standards. So th there's a lot people can do with a 50-minute feature film with that kind of budget. Uh, once the proposals are in, it'll be reviewed by, by MNET uh, under multi-choice side and the NBC and the successful uh, applicants will then go into a production agreement with the NBC to produce these films. And then when these films are produced, they will be broadcast, uh, which is also another sort of like a, a problem for Namibian filmmakers is where do these things get to our screens? Perhaps just before we get there, just one slight step back. Do I need to be an established filmmaker to participate? Or how does it work? Oh, well, I think it will probably be to your advantage to have already been in the industry because when you put this proposal together, you are going to have to give a synopsis, uh, you're going to have to give a summary of the film, so the start, the middle, and the end of the film. You're going to have to uh, describe your, your lead character or main actor. You're gonna to have to give the list of your cast, 
uh, and then the budget. So I think for somebody who's just got a story idea, putting that together in a budget and understanding what goes into making this, producing this film, might be very difficult. Mm. So we're not really looking for storytellers who just have a script. We need people who've made a film and know what it takes to make a film, you know, because they're all the auxiliary things. There's uh, set, uh, there's uh, catering, there's uh, lighting, there's the equipment that you need. So we need producers, really, uh, producers, film producers, people who are filmmakers. You know, filmmakers is a broad term, but we need somebody who's able to produce it, mm. you know, because you're going to go into a production agreement to produce the film. So a lot of filmmakers have a storyline and they have an idea of how they're going to do this and they have scripts lying around that they've wanted to produce for a long time. You know, if you have a new idea, put it together, submit it by the 25th of March. But I think somebody who's, who's a little bit more further into this game is going to have more success. So we're not just looking for a script or an idea. We're looking for somebody who's really got some capacity behind the idea to know how he's going to put this together, he or she. But what Multi-Choice Namibia has been consistently demonstrating is beautiful collaboration. So there's no reason why if I'm an aspiring filmmaker and I have this stunning script that I can't collaborate with someone to make it work, right? Yeah, I know. So, so this is really great because you, you'll have the support of the NBC, which is the national broadcaster, who've got years and years of production experience, who's going to, to guide you uh, uh, through this. So you'll, you'll have that on your back. You've got uh, multi-choice uh, with Mnet who's been doing this for a long time in South Africa uh, and with the Mnet channels in South Africa they really pushed a lot of investment into the Mnet channels to produce local content and we're trying to replicate what happened there and that really sort of set off the industry so now in South Africa you can see that actors are being paid producers are being paid people are, are able to make a living out of that and we're hoping that that kind of effect takes place in the Namibian environment and then you know these films will be seen not just on the NBC but on the Mnet channels and wow. as well so we're talking you know the Mzanzi Where To, Mzanzi Magic, uh, Zambezi Magic uh, uh, the, the Mnet channels which are available on DSTV and on GoTV, uh, and then of course our national broadcaster. So it opens up such a broader audience, which then will filter through for our filmmakers. And I think with making films, you know, making films doesn't just involve an actor and a producer and a director. Mm. They are the caterers, they are the, the decor, they are the makeup artists, the they are the caterers, uh, you know, they are... Uh, th the, the tourism industry in terms of locations. There's like a whole um, auxiliary industry that's connected to, to this. And I, and, and I hope that uh, this makes an impact in, in all of those. Ultimately, the pursuit is to continue enriching lives, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm excited about this because this is something I think we've had feedback from a lot in the past. And this is a way to fulfill that from the multi-choice side and I'm sure from the NBC side as well. Uh, and we are renewing our carriage agreement. The carriage agreement is really uh, that the NBC is on our platforms, on GoTV and on the DSTV platforms. And with that, you know, we've been able to showcase local content through our platforms via the NBC. And this is just going to really enrich that relationship even more. And that relationship is connected to Namibian lives. So yes, you nailed it. Enriching lives. This is lives. beautiful. This is precious. And you have indeed nailed it. Thank you very much for the visit. We'll see you soon, I believe. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> yes. That was the head of marketing at Multi-Choice Namibia, Abilene Bird. When we return, we'll hear from the horse's mouth about the challenges, but also the beauty of the film industry. Do stay tuned.